Welcome to my PowerSender 3000 tutorial how to add licenses. PowerSender functions can be extended by adding some software licenses. In this tutorial I want to show how to add additional device licenses. By default PowerSender supports up to 32 devices. This can be extended by adding additional device licenses for 10, 20, 50 or 100 devices total 212 devices. For each license type one slot is available. Here you have to take care that each license type can only be added once. Also if a license is added it can be removed. Required Siemens tools for transferring licenses are Automation License Manager, ALM and PowerConfig. Let's have a look to my PowerSender 3000. Of course, it's running the latest firmware version. If I check more detailed information, like connected slave devices, I got some information what is the actual maximum number of devices which can be connected and how many devices are connected at this moment. Also, let's have a look to settings and licenses. Here the slots are shown which can be equipped with one license type. I already ordered one extension licenses for 20 devices. This device is provided by ALM and it's ready for transfer on my system. Also the software PowerConfig is installed. PowerConfig is also integrated as an own folder to ALM. In the next step, switching to PowerConfig and adding my power center. Searching my network and add power center to PowerConfig. Load configuration from power center to PowerConfig. and switch to licensing. Here I get information about the available slots. After loading the license information to PowerConfig, also status is displayed. And like the notes, you can see no licenses are actual available. For these 20 device licenses, the status is not applied. This is because this license is available in ALM. Switching back to PowerConfig, checking this license and apply, I can transfer and active this license to PowerCenter. Successful, okay. And now my status changed to active. Refreshing Automation License Manager, my license is gone. If I check Power Center again, I see the maximum number of devices are changed to 52. This is a result of 32 plus 20. Also, let's have a look. to my license slots where we can see the 20 device license is active. 